Hey guys, welcome back to Bible Fun with the Duns. Today we are in Esther chapter 3. Jax is going to give us a quick recap. Okay, so in the beginning of this, don't do that. <laughs> um, King Ahasuerus, Ahasuerus, Xerxes, however you want to say it, um, we see even more of his character and we find that he's kind of a pushover, kind of a king. So Haman, uh, the bad guy that we met in the first, bad guy, the bad in the guy. previous chapter, don't say that. Uh, anyway, um, he convinces King Xerxes um, to elevate his status. So of course um, he does as he commands, and King Xerxes commands everybody in the kingdom to bow down to Haman. But everyone does this except for Mordecai because Mordecai. Um, is Jewish, meaning that um, he worships God. And so Haman gets really mad because he's seeking the approval of others. And um, he has this big pride issue, has a huge ego. And so he basically resorts to um, killing everyone in Mordecai. Well, he has this idea to do it. Yeah. So he has this idea to kill not only Mordecai, but everyone in his race, or the Jews. Correct. And just like in the first chapter, this person around the king, not necessarily wise counsel, tells the king his great idea, and the king's like, okay. Yeah, kind let's of like a Jafar type figure. And so they sent out a decree that, and they roll the dice, and in. The Bible, the word used for this is pure. They cast pure. They cast lots or they rolled the dice um, to pick a day for when this is going to happen. And um, they send the word out that that they are going to kill all the Jewish people, that they're able to do this on this day that they chose, which is like it says, letters were sent by couriers to all the king's provinces with instruction to destroy, to kill and to annihilate all Jews, young and old, women and children, in one day, the 13th day of the 12th month, which is the month of Adar, and then they could plunder their goods. They could take all the things that they had owned. So I don't think we mentioned yesterday in all the adventures um, of what happened in chapter two, we met, we met Esther, and I always wanna call her queen, because by the end of that chapter, um, King Ahasuerus Xerxes, did choose Esther as queen. He he decided she was the prettiest and and but the a big thing about chapter two is that she kept it a secret that she was of the Jewish heritage. Um and so on this day very soon after where um they make this rule the king is making a rule against his own wife's people. He's making a a plan to annihilate, to kill. Basically, this is genocide. And so when uh, Dusty and I were joking about being excited to be done with Judges, and just Judges was great, but it was just heavy because of all the bad stuff that was happening. And I'm like, yay, let's go to Esther. And then I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> it's not so great. And so in this chapter, that's another picture of, um, another picture of, bad news of sadness um and so they're learning of this Mordecai's learning of this this decision made by the king and Esther is learning of this and don't worry they can't um go on without intervening and so um some takeaways from this we mentioned this in the first chapter and it's a thing that I continue to see um, it matters who you hang out with. It matters the counsel that you have, the people that you have around you sharing their ideas and, and speaking into your life. And um, the king did not choose the wisest of people. And so um, in Haman, he's going to give us a few examples of what not to do. And so in scripture, we can see that through people. We can either see how we want to be or how we don't want to be. We can learn lessons from them either way. And so the other takeaway that I have from this is to watch your pride, to watch um, what you think about yourself, high, how highly you think of yourself. This story reminds me of Daniel mm -hmm. and um, the guy who wants him, 
Well, the guy who gives King Nebuchadnezzar the idea to be like, oh, make everyone bow to you. That's exactly and what I was thinking. Yeah, it reminds me. It's very similar. And um, so anyway, you just see this one man. This stems, this this plan to annihilate and to kill this whole group of people um, stems from this one man's pride issue. And he has a pride issue with one other man. And so... Um, Pride unchecked, really bad stuff can happen. And so um, we need to watch our hearts. And the way that we do that is to stay close to God, to cling close to Him, to look for His approval over any other person's, um, just to seek His approval in how we live our life and in the decisions we make. And I can't wait to see what happens next week in the book of Esther as... Um, Esther and Mordecai start discussing this crazy plot against their own people. All right, friends. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you guys on Monday. Bye. Bye.